Hello, I'm Trash Ketchup, and I want to thank you sincerely for choosing to watch this video. It means a lot. Today, I want to talk about Team Fortress 2, the greatest game of all time. At least, it would be if not for the crisis that has been taking place over the last few years. For those not familiar, TF2 is a first-person shooter by Valve. Its last major update was all the way back in 2017. Since then, the game has been overrun by player-hosted aim-hacking bots that fill casual servers and render the game mostly unplayable. Back in 2020, the TF2 community launched the Save TF2 campaign and protested online to get Valve to do something. And while Valve technically responded in the form of a tweet, nothing ever came of it and the bot problem arguably worsened. This year, the Save TF2 campaign was relaunched as the more aggressive Fix TF2. This isn't just about getting a content update or balance changes anymore, we just want our game back. And it isn't even just about a video game being unplayable. Bot hosters are guilty of committing actual crimes, including death threats, spreading pedophilic content and hate speech, DDoS attacks, doxing, and even endangerment of life through swatting. And they use TF2 as a platform for these things. I understand that cheat proofing a game isn't as easy as it sounds, but literally anything would be better than the radio silence Valve has given us. Personally, I only started playing TF2 in 2020 back when the pandemic hit. I wasn't there to experience the release of Man vs Machine or the new weapons and balance changes that Jungle Inferno brought. Despite that, TF2 quickly became one of my favorite games of all time. Not just for the fun and engaging gameplay, but also for the characters and lore. Still waiting for the 7th comic by the way. I don't play the game as actively as I used to, but I could go on and on about each class and each weapon. In fact, TF2 is the culprit behind my obsession with hats and headwear. This universe that Valve created is something truly special for me and for millions of people around the world. Even if it may not be as relevant as it was during its peak, TF2 left a lasting impact on modern gaming and internet culture as a whole. Maybe not everyone cares as strongly as I do about some game from 2007, but that's okay. I think it's cool that we live in an age where there are so many things to enjoy. All that aside, I'm going to stop acting profound and let you enjoy the rest of the video. See ya!